Hi, welcome. Today I would like to talk about WCF REST services and how you can build them uh, using C Sharp. So let's get started. To just give you an example of how you would normally do this, you would just go into add new project and in the web you can select uh, ASP.NET and click on that and then you want to select the web API and see here it says it can create a RESTful HTTP service. So I've already done that so I'm not going to show you that but so I'm going to cancel it. So I have a WCF REST uh, interface here and let me just start it and so you can see what it does. If you just start it it's going to uh, go to this uh, local host uh, port. If you click on the REST services you can see this is where it's going to have the wisdom. So you can click on the wisdom and then to access the service what you can do is uh, you can just type in in your browser books and it will generate a get and if it does a get it comes into your program where it says get product list it's just going to return some product list and i let it through and here you can see that you are getting uh, the json back so the way it translates from this to what you have in code normally uh, as a remote procedure call but now you are using just a standard uh, interface so what you have to do is uh, this is done automatically by the project but this is the template you want to follow so this is where we came in get product list so you have to decorate it with web in book and here it's telling you the method is get which is what we do and the uri template to use here was books and that's what i did and you can see the Response format is JSON and body style is bare. You can just leave the body style to be bare. If you want to access the individual products, uh, you can see the operation is get book by ID. It is a get and the format is book slash ID. So we can give it a try. If you give it a try, you can just see here uh, book one and it's going to give you the book one and then I think it starts from zero. So if I say book zero, it should give you the book zero. So the only other thing that is left to check is the post where you create and uh, we can uh, try it and uh, get to that particular method. To do that I'm using just an extension in Chrome and it's called DHC so I can send uh, various methods like get all of the HTTP methods. So I'm going to send the post method. If you want to get this extension uh, I would suggest going to my website Go Associates. And you can just search for Chrome and you can see here uh, you can learn about the awesome Google Chrome extension so you can learn about these and other extensions but you're free to use any other method you can use so here is my post and I'm just going to send it a string and since the body method is uh, bare I have to send it as a string so here it comes in here you can parse it and create new objects here this is just creating some template and sending it back so you can see I got my response was okay and if I wanted to check my response you can see it's what I sent out so thank you for watching this short screencast and you have a great day thanks